now i am taking an example where one of the square matrix needs to be convert or to be expressed in the sum of the two matrices one of which should be symmetric and other should be skew symmetric as i told you when any square matrix is added to its transpose the result is symmetric and when the transpose of any matrix is subtracted from it the result is skew symmetric so we will use the concept that b is equals to what half of b plus b transpose and half of b minus b transpose now what is b so we will start that b is any matrix which is square 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 1 3 4 1 minus 2 minus 3 we need to convert this matrix or express this matrix as the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric so to get that result we have obtained its transpose so b transpose become 2 minus 2 minus 4 which was the first row become 2 minus 2 minus 4 first column minus 1 3 4 become second column third row 1 minus 2 minus 3 become third column so v is there b transpose we have obtained b know that b is equals to half of b plus b transpose plus half of b minus b transpose because when transpose is added to the square matrix it is symmetric and when transpose is subtracted from the square matrix it is skew symmetric so on adding b and b transpose and multiplying by half the result is 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 3 1 minus 3 by 2 1 minus 3 which is a clearly symmetric matrix and when b transpose is subtracted from b we have obtained 0 minus half minus 5 by 2 1 0 3 5 by 2 minus 3 0 so this result is what this is clearly skew symmetric so if you add 2 plus 0 is 2 minus 3 by 2 minus half minus 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 5 by 2 minus 4 minus 3 by 2 plus half minus 1 3 plus 0 3 then 1 plus 3 4 then minus 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2 is 1 1 and minus 3 is minus 2 and minus 3 plus 0 is minus 3 so ultimately we can say these are the two matrices whose sum is b that is b is expressed in the sum of these two matrices and one of them that is first one is the half of b plus b transpose is symmetric and second is b minus b transpose half is the skew symmetric that's why clearly it is there that every square matrix can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and the skew symmetric matrix